So I decided after that summer to start working with you guys here at Shred. And I've been in-house now for probably a month and a half, close to two months since I've been here. I mean, first couple of bullpens were like 88, 91. Didn't really know what the heck was going on. And then we make a couple adjustments with me utilizing my pec a little more because, you know, I was getting a little too short yeah. and kind of cutting myself off and just being from here to there instead of actually utilizing my pec a little bit. And then obviously what I've talked about with the anterior tilt with my pelvis and how I was like tilting it the other way, Correct. which was making me go straight into my quad. And so that was obviously very, very helpful before the pro day this past Sunday. Before the, the, the big day, pro day the, the, big, big day. the big pro day. Um, yep. So let's, so, so walk me through anticipation for what the pro day was, right? It's, um, it's a big event, regardless of who puts a pro day on, right? Yeah. It's always, a, it's a big event. Guys' careers are on the line and going into that knowing that hey like i could truly change my career with one bullpen like what was your thoughts the week of the month of other than the the panic mode you know what i mean yeah no for sure i mean i definitely wouldn't say like there was any sort of panic it was more excitement than anything because this is the opportunity that we've all been working for literally our whole life you Correct. know yeah. So obviously like it's in the back, it was in the back of my mind every day when I wake up, when I'm doing DoorDash here, like driving around, like yeah. obviously I'm thinking of it. I'm, I'm, but I was mainly like visualizing how it was going to go. Yeah. You know, did like, you, did you visualize it going as well as it did? No, <laughs> <laughs> but I visual, I visualized it to go well, well, correct. Yes. Well, we both, you did. know, I visualized it to where I was landing everything for strikes. My fastball was going to be there. You know, I was, I was visualizing a, a really good bullpen. Correct. A, profe just, a professional looking bullpen. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And so every night, like I would spend a few minutes, like really like trying to feel myself in that situation and like seeing the catcher and how everything's going to feel and look coming out of my hand, L really just mentally preparing. It yeah. wasn't so much like, oh, someone said I was going to be there. like freak out or anything yeah, it doesn't matter yes yeah, exactly it doesn't exactly uh -huh. so it was more so like building up that excitement because as you know with everyone else that works out in here like everyone's preparing their ass off every single day so a combination of that preparation it, it builds a subconscious like confidence that it's just another day it's just another bullpen in, in another sense right you know just another bullpen almost and we talked about that yeah like it true it truly it's a really big day for some guys right um but i i think truly the hardest part to understand is that it's just another moment right um and i, I thought you handled it really really well i know that we have talked about it and stuff like that but like when i told you i said look like i don't i don't care what you have today i just want you to give me what you have exactly and that was that was my priority too yeah that I was want, my i wanted too. you to be able to leave the best version of yourself on the line correct that's truly all that matters yeah right if you were able to come off the mountain and say look i gave you everything man that was all i had right and that was truly all i wanted and that right? I, I gave literally you all gave, i had you gave <laughs> I, that was every, all i had every little ounce of it right correct which is i mean and it showed right now you have a job right so you should go ahead and talk about kind of the the whirlwind the, the whirlwind of emotions that you had to go through the well what 72 hours after yeah 72 hours yeah. after um yeah it all kind of started with i guess you guys posting it on instagram because first of all i did not you know expect that at all and i appreciate you guys being able to put my name yeah, out God, there like me, that man. you Thank know content exactly all the all the content guys ben everyone for putting my name out there. I mean, really, I was not expecting that in, in the slightest. Um, but then the very next day, I'm at Walmart and I get a call from the Rays yeah. and they wanted to like offer me I get the first contract yeah. for the team. Which is huge because that's, exactly. that's, that's simply the dream, right? You just simply. Exactly. And, you know, in the moment I was kind of like, I guess I'm going to I'm going I'm going to be a Ray. Like it's just, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, that's that was my first call with any pro team in over two years. Yeah. 
Like I, I haven't talked to a single scout in two plus years yes. since I got surgery. Truly a big moment. Yeah, so it was definitely a super feeling of excitement whenever I got that call. And then within the next day, end up getting calls from uh, the Yankees, Giants, Orioles, Angels, and I think I'm one, but I think it was it was those teams that were really the the main teams that were pursuing me. Yeah. And after talks with you, my family, um, my agent Matt Gaeta, he he really really helped me like you know pave the way and kind of like make the decision a lot clearer than if it was just me by myself yeah you know and so at the end of the day we thought the best option for me in the situation that i'm in right now would be the la angels and so i couldn't be happier to be a part of the organization and uh get a picture with otani soon hopefully <laughs> We all get to meet our heroes eventually, man. Yeah, yeah, um, that'd be ideal. 